Standing on the forecourt of Agora, the Council of Europe's newest building, it was designed by two architectural firms, Art and Build of Brussels and De Nuit Paradon of Strasbourg. Inaugurated in 2008, Agora was voted the best office building of the year by industry professionals, winning the MIPIM award for its design, combining modernity, technical progress and high quality environmental standards. You will notice that the Agora building has a central spine with three office wings on either side and two solar chimneys, shaped to allow natural ventilation of the building for that all-important respect of the environment. The structure's forms take into account its geographical location along the marne rhin Canal. Before entering Agora, be sure to take in the original styling of the roof capped with zinc shaped like an aeroplane wing to form an awning at its entrance. Agora houses two Council of Europe entities, the Directorate General of Human Rights and Rule of Law and the Directorate General of Democracy and Human Dignity. Agora takes its name from the ancient Greek word for an open place of assembly. On the ground floor, a spectacular atrium and glazed facade overlooking the canal evokes openness, clarity and transparency. A second atrium is located on the lower ground floor. Six meeting rooms, clad in patinated copper, are located in these two areas. You are now entering one of the Agora's meeting rooms. Experts and representatives of the Council of Europe member states meet regularly. What do they talk about? Major human rights issues such as combating corruption, ill treatment in prisons, trafficking in human beings, racism, domestic violence, money laundering and financing of terrorism. They are also committed to promoting democracy, social rights, the efficiency of justice and the protection of the rights of children and national minorities. For each of these topics, the Council of Europe has established monitoring mechanisms with the member states. These reinforce the protection of human rights and democracy for more than 700 million Europeans.